So the plan is to build the huts first. Well, I guess I should probably do the floor. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and make the floor a thing before we do the huts. That way we know that we're going to be building on the correct level, because I would hate to build the huts and then have to put the floor in after, and then the huts are all, like, one block below.
we are at this point so far i just have to go and get some more dark wood um i actually have dark wood on me so there's that but this design is kind of like i said it's going off the top of my head right now so i'm hoping it turns out the way i want it to because i know for a fact if it doesn't and i get done i'm gonna be like hmm should have changed something different and i don't want to get to that point but the coolest thing is about this i am actually kind of debating about doing an upstairs so there'll be like actually two levels of traders there's going to be your bottom layer and then your top layer and i'm not too sure what i want to do here but i don't think who who's going to have like two layers of of traders so that's where i'm at currently i'm just trying to figure out if i do want to put a second layer up there or i can just kind of keep it as one and call it good i'm not quite sure yet to be honest i'm not gonna lie i i just want it to look good i don't want it to look kind of half put together and you know poopy i'm gonna be putting uh lanterns in the bottom of these guys or should i put them in the top i i don't know if it's gonna i mean you're not really gonna see them because their stuff's gonna be here and they're gonna be stood right there so you're not really going to see them hid behind them i i just want them to glow and i think it might it might look good i i honestly don't know yet also down here um i kind of went tnt crazy when we actually did tnt this completely out the thing that i was thinking about doing here was maybe doing like a chest room i like a like a store like i so you have your traders you know traders here traders here traders here and then up here i'll obviously do this on the same level just so i can show you guys like as we speak so it's going to be obviously this high like maybe that would be like the room and then i'll probably put this grass to be honest i because outside when we do end up doing this floor and the surrounding walls i'm obviously i'm gonna put grass down here kind of like the same theme we have in the chest room so this will probably have like a two by two like you know just two blocks down this would be grass this would be grass and i'm thinking about doing this grass and then this grass and then it linking up to the center so probably getting rid of this row of blocks and putting in stone and then this row of blocks putting in stone and then getting rid of the center pieces and putting grass that way it's a grass walkway all the way to the center here so this room i might just do like a little chest room where i can get my emeralds and you know if i have to rank traders up to get like you know from when you get a weapon smith they give you stone right like stone pickaxes and stone just pretty much stone garbage then i can probably put them in the chests here or i can put in like a dispenser that is facing towards lava and then you put it in the dispensers it like shoots it into the lava and it kind of just burns it because personally i really don't think i'm going to need uh stone anything really to be honest apart from trades right i mean if that's actually a thing so i just wanted to check in with you guys and show you what we have going on right now and it's coming together quite nicely you should guys let me know in the comments if it's what you thought it was going to be and i said a while ago that i was gonna do like two pillars like right here so i'll build these up just so i can show you what i'm kind of trying to go for here and then we'll get this wood out because it's, it's we're going to be pretty low right here so i kind of want it to do something like this i'm actually just going to jump up here with these blocks and say screw it and then i'll put a block here put a block here and it's not going to let me put them upside down and then we'll put i don't really know what i'll put on top to be honest so i'll probably do like an archway coming into the main area that looks like that or maybe i'll do a different style i'm not too sure yet i think these should probably be can you make stone stairs i don't know why i asked that question of course you can and then instead of these being solid right here may i do this oh no could i do this would that pull the archway that actually might look a little bit better i'm not gonna lie and then we'll just do this and this get rid of this block didn't mean to do that but it's fine pop that there so it looks more like an archway it's not just like mm, it kind of is an archway but it doesn't really look like one and i guess we probably maybe put stone on top i think that looks kind of nice 
I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to keep this archway like a single, a single one or a double one, or I could maybe do. Hmm. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to like mess around with this for sure. But I think once I get like the main room done, it will look a lot better. Because like I said, I haven't really, I haven't even fought this far yet with what I want to do here, like so. I have not thought about it at all. I guess I'm just playing around with designs at this point. I'm just gonna... I feel like it needs some more wood, though. I really do. I feel like it needs more wood. What would it look like if we put this in the center? Does that look kind of stupid? I mean, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it actually looks kind of decent. I think this door is huge, though. I think this that this door's gonna probably might have to get shortened out. But then where would we put the... Did I use all of those? And could we do something like this? And do a two-way door here. Could probably put the lights back up. Huh? I, I did bring chain, so you could probably give me credit for that one. I don't think we can add... Yeah, we can only add this in the center here. That might be hanging too low. Yeah, Noisy does not like that. I might just be able to put these guys up here. It's a shame we can't put them... Oh, you can... oh okay. So you can only hang chain from those. Okay, so that's not going to work, which it is what it is. Maybe I can just put, like... Can I put these in here? Honestly, I don't know where the lights are going to go as for right now, but I guess I'm just going to put them right here just so you guys could see and check out what I'm doing here. Yeah, so I might do something like that. I I'm not quite sure yet what i want to do i might just blow this out completely and then attach uh this wall to out here and then follow it all the way around to out here and then this will come all the way across and attach here and maybe the same with that i'm not i'm not quite sure yet we're not really at this point i just wanted to kind of show you what i got going on and how far i am with this build so
So we are officially done with this build and it took forever and uh, when I mean forever I mean about total build time probably three hours. <laughs> the reason why it took me so long is because I got it all built um, and as you can probably tell this wasn't here before I had traders going all the way across. Well I ran into an issue that I originally built this and I went one block longer on this side than this side so this light side was actually shorter so when i was trying to finish this side off it wasn't added up and it wasn't symmetrical and i was really confused so i had to remove all of these redo the floor um re completely remove the ceiling to about this point so from this point that way this was all gone i had to rebuild that side all over again and then obviously we had to add a creeper themed in here because I think it looks decent. <laughs> it kind of looks like a key, but this side here will be opened up. Uh, I might TNT this in a later video and then maybe build a chest room here. And I know throughout this video, I said I was going to build a chest room here, right? Well, when I was trying to build the chest room... I actually blew through this wall, and this actually took us to the chest room here. And the never portal room is going to be over here, so I was like, well, I'm just going to blow this out, and then kind of add stairs here, and make it accessible from either side. So that's what we did here. And obviously this floor right here is obviously going to be one level, so I won't need to move these anymore. But yeah, no, it's, it looks pretty decent, I'm happy with it added some art because you know let me know what you guys think about it uh, i think the only thing i need to do is actually put the lanterns up obviously i'm not going to do that because this video has already been super long so and then the outside kind of added some wood supports here and then added some grass blocks um under this are the glowstone because you can hide glowstone underneath carpet which is fantastic i actually didn't know you could do that and I think I didn't even cover up. Yeah, there's like two, four. So there's like these four right here, which I can probably cover up. But the only thing to do now for this is to move all the traders in. And I, I'm i probably going to do that now. That way this room's completely done and I can upload it. Because obviously the edit will be finished. It's probably going to take me quite a bit to get these in here. But I'm going to start filling them up probably on the left side. And then I might do two of the same. And then two of the same, two of the same, two of the same. And then you get it because obviously it's, it's equal. So if I can have two of each, I think that would be amazing. But I think this build turned out great. I definitely, my favorite part is probably this section right here. I love how it goes down like this. It looks super cool. And then the outside, I might try to change some things. Maybe add some more leaves up here. So we have all of our tracks set up. Uh, the first one I'll start with is obviously the Librarians because they are the main ones that I like to use. Right now, we've just kind of, <laughs> we just kind of got them going all the way down. I should probably put... Probably how I put these next to the... I think this is how this works. I don't know. We're going to find out real quick. So yeah, they are going to be going down here. And then I haven't actually... No, I haven't even finished this yet. All the way... Oh, wait. No, wait a second. Can I curve these ones? Oh, I can't curve those. That's kind of mad. Can I curve these? No. So I guess we're just going to have to kind of do one at a time. I was trying to set them all up. That way I don't really have to do much. I can just switch the tracks over and then they will be good to go. And I can just keep coming up and transferring them. I, I hope this works. Because to be honest, I really have no idea. I've never used tracks before. Can you go? Can you actually go over chests oh i was putting detector rails down i thought for some reason i thought these were like powered rails i was like that's why they're not lighting up actually you know what i'll probably have to just keep running around and picking these back up because i don't want to run out of tracks 
Because I don't have enough iron to actually <laughs> finish. Or not even finish, but I don't have enough iron to add more tracks to. So I gotta try and get it done without having to make any. Because I, I think you need iron, right? Because I don't even have enough iron to even make these. So we are actually ready to move all of these guys. Uh, these This one got out and I'm actually missing one and i don't know where he is so we actually lost a villager there's no way he could have gone out because everything's blocked in unless he found him <laughs> unless unless he went down here um yeah we'll have to fix that later my how how did he get out oh he jumped out. okay you know what it, it's fine we're, we're gonna worry about that later but I'm going to use a boat to get them down the stairs because I'm pretty sure you can use the boats to go down the stairs, but you can't use them to go up. So, but yeah, you can't use them to go up. So I think I'm going to start a powered rail probably here. And then I'm going to have to remove probably that center block here. Yeah. I didn't want to do this. Like, I didn't want to have to ruin all my stuff, but. This is for the villagers. So I got the trail of tracks right here. So I'm going to grab the boat and I'm probably going to go to... I mean, that way I'm not messing around here. Like, paddling on wood for about an hour. I will just put them to here. That way I only have to paddle to here and then I can just grab them and then put them in their forever homes. All right, we're done. Track is done. Now all I have to do is, I think I still got to make a minecart. I don't even have the iron for it. Maybe, oh, I have two right there. I wonder if I actually have any iron just chilling inside the chest room. I know we built the chest room, and honestly, I haven't even done anything with this room yet. Like, I still need to do, yeah, I have no iron. I still need to do all the picture frames, and then I need to have a sorting day off camera because... I don't think a sorting day is going to be very entertaining for YouTube, so I probably won't record it. Maybe I'll record, like, sections of it. I honestly have no idea yet. I kind of just go with the flow when I record videos. Well, I'm going to go find some iron, make a minecart, and then I will show you guys a quick video of me messing around trying to actually get this to go as planned. I really hope this dude doesn't die. So how am I supposed to transport these guys? Will he automatically just jump in there? Okay, so that's a no. He doesn't. Hmm. So how am I supposed to get him in, then? I mean, my dude, if you want to walk there, you go for it. Oh, my goodness. Go on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. I guess the power rail thing didn't work, which is fine. Why isn't he getting in the boat? All right, well, here's one, which is great. I don't even know what one this even is. So now my question is, how do I get him in there and cram him in there? That's what I'm struggling with currently. Well, we got the first one in. So I did notice that I they can't run in there with this here. So I'm probably going to have to go ahead and remove the next one. Oh, whoops, not that. Goodness. Yeah, so obviously I'm going to have the two chemistry people here and then the librarians are going to go next to him. And then I don't think I have two of anything else, I do believe. So we will stack this wall and hopefully we can get this episode over and done with, huh? This is what I've had to do. So I'm going to leave him here so I can show you. So I did end up just using the rail carts because it was the easiest way the boat was taking too long. So I'll just end up, you know, removing this section and then like S est curving it into this and i've noticed if i uh, block this guy in with like one block and he can't move and i put the track down and then put the minecart on the track he will automatically just jump in so if you're wondering on how to do that then you just got to block him in put the minecart uh, sorry put the uh, the track down first on the block they're stood on and then you put the minecart down and then if you get something like this I didn't have enough <laughs> to do a full track. And now I'm pretty sure you can just go ahead and push him back on. He will go on his merry looking way look. Living the dream. And now he's here. And then the only part that I keep running into is they want to like run. 
immediately and then i am like chasing them around this part waiting for them to uh to try and jump back in the boat so i kind of just do like a little chamber like this it sucks it's, it is a huge pain in the butt but this is the way the minecraft cookie crumbles i guess i don't know why it's not letting me place this down well that's weird i wonder if i can quickly get away ah see you see now he's gone look now he's gone these things are a pain in the absolute butt. Just get in. My dude. Get in my lovely boat. See, and I just don't want him to fall down onto the lower level. Because if he falls down to the lower level, then that's where it, it, it gets tricky. Because then i got to remove blocks and have him jump back up here. But this is, uh, this is taking a bit of time. Now, I do have uh, the chain, uh, sorry, the chemistry guy here. And I got a librarian right here. So this librarian will be going into this hole. And then the other hole, uh, this one, is going to be for another chemistry person whenever we get to that point. So that's why I let you know it's going very, very slowly. But we will, we will get it. We will get it. Like right now. Alive for you guys. Boom. Done. And then where's my trap door? Go ahead and put the trap door back up to make it look nice. And then that's it. That's that's how I've been doing it. It does it's very time consuming, but it's worth it in the end when you can get all of these laid out. So it took me quite a bit, but we are officially done moving the villages that we already had upstairs. Uh I don't know where this guy's blast furnace is i must have lost it or, or it got mixed up in like the bajillion chests we have just scattered around the cave so i left i uh, left a gap here for um you know another cleric is that how you say it Cler cleric cleric i have no i have no idea i'm not calling him a cleric i don't even know what that's called he's potion guy this guy is enchant guy <laughs> This dude is Goggle Guy. All right, yeah, they all have their own names. So, yeah, I left this gap here so I could put another one of those here. Same goes for this one. Same goes for this one. And then the Toolsmith. I think that's a Toolsmith. Weaponsmith? Toolsmith. Toolsmith. And then the Choreographer. Uh, I think that's how it's said. So, yeah, this episode is actually done. It took a while. And uh, you're probably, like, noisy. Nice new skin. Yeah, I appreciate it. I did my own little edit on this skin. It's kind of like half me, half Reaper. So I'm kind of kind of digging it. The back doesn't really look that great. Um, yeah. So the next episode, we are going to be filling up all of this. Yes, we are going to be on a mad villager hunt. I think I need 20... We have 21 open spaces left for the rest of the villagers. So... We're going to be doing that. I'm probably going to grab them off camera for the next episode. That way there's more commentary and more gameplay and not so much like building footage and music behind it. I'm trying to be more interactive with the people who come onto my channel. So next episode is definitely going to be happening. I'm probably going to round up the remaining ones I need. And then I'm probably going to like, you know, slap them in there because I know you can actually remove this block and he won't move because there is a trap door above it but what i did notice is if you are trying to trap them in something like this and you put this up when they're panicking and running around like crazy they will actually glitch through this block so just take that into consideration if you are doing something like that they do like to glitch through this block and uh yeah it, it's kind of a pain in the butt but if they're in there relaxed and calmly you don't actually have to put a block in front of them so i'll probably go ahead and just stack the rest of the villages in these open slots and then I won't tame them yet, not tame them, but I won't give them a job yet. I'll go ahead and just kind of leave the trap doors up like that. So, but on that note, I am out of here. It is the end of the episode. I appreciate you all stopping by and watching. It really means a lot. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe button. And if you didn't, then just go ahead and hit the dislike button. And uh, let me know in the comments what I can do to change that dislike to a like. But I'm out of here. Appreciate, love all of you. Don't forget to join the creator corner as well. Link is in the description. Come hang out meet some minecrafters and enjoy your time here and become part of the family so have a good day